Hello, everybody! Welcome back to The Last Promise. I'm Mithril Zenith, and Sean and Siegfried just got captured. I wonder what's gonna happen. Interlude. I've returned. Howard has successfully captured the rebels. Oh, so he's proven himself useful once again. Even if he's not very strong, he still is smart. And take it as you will, but Count Pelinor was killed. We'll have to keep someone else in charge of Yulia now. Hmm, no matter. I shall make arrangements for someone myself. The other Imperial Generals have already been charted off to the islands. Why don't you join them? You need a break, after all. If that is your wish, then I shall oblige. Good, good. After one month, we shall resume our plans to dominate Blaine. As for Athea, I wouldn't worry about it anymore. Yeah, so all, all of the generals are taking a one-month vacation. A one-month island vacation. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Not the rebels have stirred up trouble there. Not the rebels that have stirred up trouble there have been defeated. This war shall soon be over and peace shall finally reign. Yes, indeed. Did you hear that, Silica? Soon we'll have our utopia. Who's this Silica he's talking to? Whoever. You'll find out, maybe. <laughs> Your Majesty, the preparations have been made. We're ready to engage the foe on the plateau to the northwest. Hey! It's green units! <laughs> Good. Pull off the enemy as you can and minimize casualties. Do not take any unnecessary, unnecessary risks, General Zane. As you wish. Now, my problem with this is the choice of music. I'm not going to be reading off all of these. You can pause the video or read them on your own. Now, we just got imprisoned. And all these things are talking about, oh, you know, the everyone's being captured and held prisoner or whatever. Yet it's the Fire Emblem theme playing, which is normally happy, or, or triumphant, or at least peaceful, especially this version, because I'm pretty sure this is just the version that plays at the end of Lin Mode. With several of the other music choices in the game being so good, fitting quite well, this one sticks out to me. This one is like, yeah, it just... For such a stressful moment in the game, it's... It would be like... I'm trying to, gonna try to put this spoiler free, but the end of Generation 1... It would be like if the Fire Emblem theme played at the end of Generation 1 of Genealogy of the Holy War. Instead of, well, the music that does play, which is the perfect mood-setting music for what just happened. Now, granted, this isn't quite as impactful, I should say, as what happens at the end of FE4, uh, Generation 1. But it still has a little bit of that in it. It, it still is like, well... Yeah. Why is it happy music is playing... Something terrible just happens to the player's units. That's my one complaint about this. Anyway, Siegfried Tale overall was... It was pretty alright. It was not bad. Um, certainly more difficult than Lin's Tale. But for a Lin mode clone, it wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty enjoyable. 5X was by far the hardest chapter. In fact, I don't think you're supposed to be able to win, which is why it gives you so many options so many times to be like, hey, you should retreat. You should retreat. Maybe you should run away. But yeah, not too bad. I lost Shuda, but I don't really care. And he'll come back later. Here ends part one of The Last Promise. Would you like to save your progress? Sure. 
Would you like to continue playing? Sure. As of chapter 11, the second part of the game will begin. After Siegfried saved Anakin in chapter 8, the young speaker was sent to Regalia to the southeast. Kalik, leader of his own mercenary group, is rebelling against Magnus on a smaller and more discreet scale. You will now lead these characters in a series of battles and slowly regain characters from your army. Non-major characters who are defeated will now die on the battlefield and be lost forever, so be careful. It's also highly recommended you pay close attention to the story if you don't want to miss out on various hints related to gameplay and story elements. Hmm. Well, let's try and find out what it means by this. I still insist that there are certain hints that are a bit more vague, but I think the most vague things were probably what ended up happening in, uh, what the freak is it called? And yeah, in Siegfried's tale, uh, like Noah having to go to that continent area where no one else was, or just getting Sean's prologue part two. Those were like the most random ones that I'm like, why, why, why is it so obscure? But whatever. This includes protecting certain characters from harm and side quests that may help you obtain hidden secrets like characters, items, or plot details. Many tough challenges ahead. You may need to help. You may need as much help as you can get if you want to overcome them. With that being said, may you find good fortune and easy victories ahead. Shattered remains. Sleep. Sir Anakin, what? Huh? Good, you're awake. Well, now I am. Who are you? Sorry about that. I'm Kevin, soldier working under Commander Siegfried. Ah, one of Siegfried's soldiers. Any allied soldier is good news. Those Magnians are on our tail. Well, Anakin, I bring news from the Yulian front. Oh, that's right. Siegfried sees Yulia? He did. But after he conquered the castle and killed Count Pelinor, the Magnian army showed up, led by General Howard himself. He sent me to find you and help you on your mission. I don't know how long you can hold out at Yulia. How goes the recruiting? Well, with you, we add one more to our ranks. Good. How many does that make? Four. Including the original three of us who set off here. It's not going nearly... It's not nearly enough to go and help Siegfried and Yulia. Yeah, recruitment is slow. Magnus' patrol is going around preventing us from doing anything. The people here are too fearful to rise up on their own. Where's Eduardo? He's off of the village trying to recruit more to our cause. If I, But if I wasn't able to, I doubt he'll have any better luck. Why aren't you there yourself? Well, I was, then I got tired. And... Alright. Last. Magnus soldiers are seriously out to get us. How many are there? Maybe a dozen, give or take a couple. Might be in our best interest to escape and come back later. Well, there's not much we can do. We can't run and hide forever. I just say we confront them head on. I mean, I doubt Magnus will just let us escape so easily anyway. Eh, with Kevin on board, we might be able to take him. Not that Kevin takes any damage whatsoever. <laughs> there isn't enough time to retreat, even if you decided to. They've already surrounded us. Yeah. Man, where is Eduardo? Dude, there's no way <laughs> I know what that guy's up to. He'll just have to catch up. So, we get Anakin. No matter if you level them up or train them, I guess, they're just at level 1. Lightning and Vulnerary. Ace. Those weapons. And Kevin, exactly how we left him. Now this is Anakin's theme. This is the music that plays every time he says, you can do it. The boss is Talon. Uh, this guy's a Steel Axe. Yeah, the boss and that Steel Axe guy are the only people that can hurt Kevin at all. <laughs> so we should probably make use of our other people and use Kevin like a Jagan. I wish I could see what was in these more easily. But the only thing we can do is we can. Well. Iron weapons, but we have no money. 
basic items, but we have no money. Ace is pretty good for a basic soldier. You can do quite a bit. Again, all your units are level 1, but all the enemies are like level 2. This is pretty much a second starting map. And I don't mind it. It's actually pretty enjoyable. And then having Kevin, the armor knight from before, act as basically a Jagan on your side, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Commander, the resistance fighters are retaliating. What are your orders? Answer their attack. Move forward. Our forces outnumber their own. Yes, sir. Wait there. Who is their leader? The leader appears to be a common spokesman, someone to gain support for their foolish cause. Doubtful he even has any basic military training. On your leave. Hm. Speaker leading a battle? What kind of power must he have? Wait. Come back here, soldier. Yes, sir. I have new orders. If any of our enemies are to surrender, spare their lives and capture them. We're to follow the proper code of conduct as Magni and Knights. Of course, Commander. If they resist, are we allowed to kill? Yes. However, any prisoners will be treated with the utmost respect. It's a basic rule of war to treat prisoners like we would allies. Yes, sir. Okay, so... Any and weak runs can see through the idiocy. Morals, respect, I don't see any point in those lies. Well, if the commander doesn't know, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, so this is an attempt at the writing to... Well, you know, this is how war should be waged, and this is what Magnus is. I don't necessarily mind... That they're... You know, that they're trying to show that the Magnian leaders are respectable human beings. I kind of appreciate that, but then making the grunts be like, oh yeah, we're just going to go behind his back, we're just going to kill him anyway, just kind of ruins that in my mind. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> we finally decided to fight these guys and you all don't even wait for me? I mean, Regalia is my homeland, I'll be the one to protect it. Say hello to Eduardo. He has charge. Made for helpless idiots. It's a perf weapon. It's a perf brave. So, if you're familiar with Thracia, everyone's perf weapons are brave. So it's a personal brave with lower might than an iron lance. And only 60 hit. So it's kind of useful, but quite inaccurate, so be careful when trying to use it, is, is what I'm going to say. Actually, I can do... Okay, you don't double. question is, can Eduardo hit both his attacks? Yes, he can. Nice. As I said before, Eduardo has massive hit points and decent strength and pretty much nothing else. I have a talk conversation. I'll do that later. I'm pretty sure talk combos still take up your major action for the turn. Also the Iron Lance, because it's more accurate. And because being a brave clone weapon, charge will wear out pretty quickly. I'm going to attack him with Kevin and an Iron Lance, and then try and finish him off with Ace. Go Jagan Tactics. An Armor Knight Jagan. <laughs> and what makes it better is that he's not really a Jagan, he's just your usual Armor Knight that you trained up in Siegfried's Tale. And it's like, hey, I'm, I'm, your, I'm your support unit now. 
Ooh, who's this lady? Uh, finally had a good angle to approach this. Going around to avoid the castle sure wasn't fun, but oh well. I just have to keep an eye on these guys, huh? Well, I won't pretend to know what Kellick's thinking, but there's no backing out. And I have no intention of letting these people's efforts go to waste, either. So I'll support them in any way I can. I'm a green unit. Uh, the fact that Kevin doubles actually is less than ideal. Uh, no. Th those hit rates are... To call them shaky at best is being too generous. The village was formed just a little time before Magnus invaded. We've yet to live in peace. Please help us, because we can't help ourselves. If it helps you, take this gem. It was given as a gift by Count Praise when this village was first formed. Back then it served as a symbol of new life. Please, let it help renew the prosperity of this land once more. So we have a blue gem, so we can sell that and actually buy some stuff. Here's Karina. Level 10 Wyvern Rider with amazing stats. C rank lances. Karina is a good unit. She is a very, very good unit. Oh man, the fact that he has a ranged weapon too. Now the thing is, I don't know how much they expect Anakin to fight and how much they expect him to just dance. But we should probably fight with him a little bit, just to train up his light weapon rank. Because that rank is really annoying to train, and we'll have plenty of opportunity to level him up. In fact, we should be leveling him up like crazy. Stop taking all the kills, Karina. Please. You know, we should really be leveling up like crazy. Because Anakin has a forced promotion. And the forced promotion comes very quickly, too. Welcome to our humble abode. Life's become harsh. The Magnus soldiers are so brutal. There's one exception. I'd say it's their leader. Though he controls Regalia, he attempts to help us. Please do not strike him down. Even Magnus knights can have some honor. Wouldn't it go against the values of your cause to bring death to one who doesn't deserve it? I don't mean to preach to you, but not all Magnians are bad. Some are just unfortunate. Kind of like us. makes me think that this game's trying to make me think that I can recruit him. Well, let's find out how reasonable that is. Looks like nobody's here. Oh, and he starts with a support. Yes, the ace Anakin support is a very fast support. Eleven. That's four plus four plus eight. Can you open triangle? Yeah, he's fine. Ace will be fine. Especially since I doubt he gets doubled by the fighter. Huh. No strength or defense. But he got everything else. It's a resistance, which is fine. I don't even think the archer doubles ace, because ace is doubling pretty much everyone else. Yep, and he's fine. Oh, come on. Come on, Karina. Stop stealing all my kills. Just to make sure... Can do something after talking. You have ace attack first. Of 
Karina and Granikin, right? Yeah, I am. Well, I'm not allowed to speak of the details just yet, but I'm kind of on orders to spend some time with you guys. I mean, like, I'll help you with your fights and all. I realize it's kind of mysterious, but don't mind me, alright? Well, I suppose I shouldn't refuse help when we've been looking for some so desperately. Can I really trust you, though? Yes, for sure. The guy who sent me here is really trustworthy. He just wants me to watch over you guys and see what you're up to. I mean, I could just spy on you from above, but I'll be fighting with you instead, so it's not like I'm doing anything bad. Well, that much is true, so when you put it that way... I guess we'll be owing this mystery man a thanks at some point, then. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that if I were you, Anakin. He's not really one to take the words thank you very well. But anyway, let's do this. So yes, we now have Karina. And I've put myself in a position where I need to use her to defeat the archer. Yeah, I might be able to attack with the javelin. Maybe feed the kill to Eduardo. There we go. Not like I'm getting much from it. But it's worth a shot. Oh wait, I should have parked her differently. Whatever. So I could have used the armory because I don't really need anything from the vendor right now. Hey, Anakin. Hmm? Yes? Good, you're awake. Indeed. Why wouldn't I be? What the crap, Anakin? One minute ago you weren't awake. I, I object. Proof. Where's your proof? Oh, I'll bring it. Yeah. Supports are kind of bland. But it's a good support. Ace's fire affinity is nice to have. I would like to buy more javelins, but I can't right now. I'll buy an iron sword for Eduardo. He could really use the extra hit percent. Trying to find a balance of like who should have what items. Do you have a javelin? Yes, you do. You have a javelin? How about you? What's this talk conversation? Hey, Anakin, look at this mess you've gotten into. Eh, it was bound to happen anytime soon. Well, now that it has, just leave it to me. Might as well kick back and take a nap. Again, as inviting as that sounds, I don't think I could sleep well knowing you guys are fighting out here. Haha! <laughs> You're a good man, Anakin. I'm honored to fight alongside one such as you. Good man, huh? Let's not, let go f let's not go flattering each other just yet, Eduardo. Battles are only beginning, I'm afraid, and we'll get to we'll beginning to know each other for a long time. Motivate a little bit. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Always you can do it. Just Kevin doesn't really need anything. I want to try and speak with the boss with Anakin because the story keeps hinting that I can. But surprise, I can't. You can't actually speak with this boss. You can't do anything interesting with this boss. Watch as I rise to power! Fun little boss fight music. Now, I could just kill this boss easily with Anakin because of, well, light magic. I just want to make sure that I won't get surprise doubled. I'll be fine. If anything, I'm going to be the one surprise doubling him as soon as he equips the javelin. And Eduardo's level up is... about as good as you'd expect. 
His skill and speed are really the problem, especially with this game's low hit rate weapons. Low, low, low hit rate weapons. But it is decent enough damage. Oh yeah, and generic spears are, for some reason, effective against soldiers. I don't know why, but they are. Because of that, we might as well just give the kill to Anakin then. It must be the speaker. This is your last chance. Stand down. Don't want to fight someone unarmed. Who says I'm unarmed? Speaker who can wield magic? It's a hobby of mine. Very well then, come. And dead. Regrets everything. I bet you regret everything. Speed and luck, just like a dancer. And the boss is down. The skirmish is lost. I surrender. Finish me. You're a good man. You don't need to die. All I need you to do is tell me something. Why has Magnus begun taking over Solomon? Come on, speak up! Quiet, Ace. The man tells us when he's ready. Show some respect. Anakin, he's our enemy! He can betray us at any minute. He's no threat to us without his weapon. Now, could you please answer my question? The king wanted more power. He believes that Solomon, has his, Solomon is his right. No, his destiny to own. We were sent to fulfill his destiny. Please, you must kill me. I've dishonored my knighthood. What a simple, selfish reason to turn the world into a state of chaos. You're free to go. Turn to Magnus if you wish, I don't care. Then I will stay alone until I am forgiven. Perhaps Regalia can make use of me. I give up on this war. My enemy, thank you for sparing my life. Someone's approaching, Anakin. Watch your step. Huh. Blonde hair. It's not the way you spell blonde. Odd getup. Excuse me, sir, but you're Anakin, correct? Uh, yes, Anakin is my name. Who are you, and what is your business here? My name's Logan. I sometimes take on the position of a mercenary. However, I can never seem to find proper work, since I kind of detest the stuffy nobles who typically offer to pay. Some have taken to call me a wandering swordsman, but hey, that no mind. I'd like to join your group. It is a rebel, not a mercenary. Be happy to have another soldier. However, you must prove your loyalty in battle before we can fully trust you. I figure you understand, right? <laughs> yeah, I like your style, Anakin. I'm anxious to meet the battlefield. Well then, excuse me. We need to prepare to head to Alexia. Is that so? Uh. I know an easy route to Alexia, which can save a great deal of time. I can lead the way. Alright, Logan. Sounds like an idea. Doesn't say sounds like a good idea. Doesn't say sounds like a bad idea. Just sounds like an idea. Just an idea. It's just like any other idea, you know. We're depending on you. Anakin, are you sure it's alright to trust him so quick? It could be leading us to a trap. I guess you have a point, but... Do we trust Logan? Now this will, this decision will put us into a different chapter. This one decision will be, and it won't change the next chapter, but it'll change the chapter after that. Do we go to 13A or 13B? Now, because I'm going to play through and show you all of the chapters, I'm going to save here, and I'm going to make my decision, and then I'm just going to play off screen until that chapter and show you what the difference would be. But I don't think we're going to trust Logan, mainly because I trusted Logan my last time and he turned out to be an awful unit. Like he's usable, I'm sure he's probably pretty good if you train him, but because this game buries me in other swordsmen, I didn't end up using him. So I don't think we're going to trust Logan. You have a point. Leave this to me, Ace. If you say so. Wait, Logan. 
I have a question for you. Hmm? What is it? Sorry to ask this of you, but how can we trust you? Seems a little odd that you know of a special path to Alexia. What? Why would I lie? I took the same path coming here, that's how I know about it. Same path coming here, huh? That sounds a little suspicious. I figured you out. You came here to lead us into an ambush once we reached our destination and finished us off in one fell swoop. So these are your true colors, Logan. How? How did you figure me out? Last, I thought I had you. What? It was actually true? <laughs> I was just bluffing. So you really were going to ambush us, were you? Ugh, ridiculous! Can't believe I got outsmarted, outsmarted by this good for nothing. Okay, yeah, this writing is pretty cheesy and pretty lame. Like, this is a Scooby Doo villain type thing who would be called out once and then instantly fold. Whatever. I can't believe I got outsmarted by this good for nothing who's making a run for it. Everyone, let's give chase and find out who his boss is. I'm gonna save down here for a little bit. But that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. My name is Mythos Zenith. Uh, hope you've enjoyed The Last Promise. Let me know what you think so far, and have a great day.